where would you start to tell them what you learned at the beginning stage when you entered? I needed to get my hands on in order to understand. The, the conversation is always on high level. I'm a non-tech person. How do I take my fiat currency, dollars or euros? How do I get them to become cryptocurrency? Give the technology a chance. Choose for yourself. Decide for yourself. Do you want to be part of this or don't you? That's yes. what I think is fun. So yeah, join us. Good afternoon, Anita Kelargis. It's a real pleasure to have you here in Cypher Capital. Uh, who are not familiar with Anita, her, you can Google her as a crypto granny with K. And honestly, you intrigued me with your introduction by like old school version to the completely new generation in the industry. And please tell us a little bit, how did you bring the value to the industry? Well, good afternoon, everyone. And Victor, thank you for the kind invite. Uh, it's really great pleasure to be here in, in Dubai Marina with you today. Crypto Granny, uh, you mentioned that I, I do write Crypto Granny with a K and that is mainly because I want to be identified back home. I come originally from Finland and in Finnish language we write crypto with a K. But um, yeah, Crypto Granny was born uh, around 2017-18. And uh, the value I would say that I hopefully bring to the scene, to the actors in the space, is that an old school person, like you mentioned, uh, having no tech background whatsoever myself, I really feel that um, when not being able to understand all the tech talk and all the new wordings and all of that that is in the space at the moment, as obviously I'm no longer a young girl, so I do believe that I do, uh, I'm not ashamed and I do dare to go and ask the project owner or anyone I'm talking to that could you please in a more simple manner or way explain what you're actually doing because I don't understand at all, at all what you're saying, so challenging them that way. Yes, to be honest, I met a couple of weeks ago uh, Crypto Granny in the VOW Summit yes. and the question was like how she explained herself. The, the, the conversation is always on high level to bring it lower. So please tell us how can we start this bringing lower the understanding of the cryptocurrency and the blockchain industry? In my opinion, it comes down to first of all, like in any conversation you're having, understanding the people or the person you're talking to. The level of understanding, uh, and in my case, for instance, the technology understanding. I'm a non-tech person, so any tech talk you might be telling me, I don't get it. So it comes down to, of course, uh, understanding the value that your project or your token or coin uh, brings to us or, or to me. But also that why you're doing this, what is, uh, what is it that makes you tick? Why is your project uh, different from any other? So, so all those maybe emotional things as well that makes a difference. And in that kind of conversation, I do believe that we human beings, we tend to talk more normally. So when, uh, and, and in the very beginning, it was also a lot um, tech talk. I mean that I have still today, I have no idea of the technology side of internet or my emails or my Spotify or my WhatsApp. I have no idea what the technology is behind that. So why would I need to know what is the technology on, on your project? More than, of course, when it comes to cryptocurrencies and, and the, the uh, blockchain itself, then uh, technology plays a role which we cannot bypass but non, not in such a technology or technological level, yes. in the more simple words. Yes, that completely makes sense. So mm. let's go stick it to the understanding for the, anybody who is just like joining to crypto and blockchain, blockchain space. Where would you start to tell them what you learned at the beginning stage when you entered? Well, the thing that appealed to me in the very beginning was that the people started to talk about technology providing us the freedom, being able to trust again, taking away the middleman and, well, I think the main thing was the trust. 
Yes. So technology would allow us to trust again. I would not need to know you, but I could still interact with you and tr have a trust there. I would not need to trust anyone, but rather the technology. It's not simple at, uh, at all times, but there are ways to understand why I can trust the technology in question. So that's what appealed to me. Then, of course, very soon it came down to that join the revolution kind of okay, thing, okay. which I found also very fun. And that's in, in kind of that's what this is all about. Because if you look at the back, the traditional financial world and the currencies we know today, the value of those, the value of this and that, whether it's gold or oil or, or today the world situation, which is very challenging, people need to have hope. They need to have something to look forward to, to trust that there is something better in the future. So that's why the revolution to me is a no-brainer. We need to call it that way because we are reforming the whole future. financial thinking and future. In simple words, I wanted to understand what is this cryptocurrency people are talking about. At the time it was Bitcoin and Ethereum mm -hmm. mainly. I wanted to understand how come technology can provide us the trust. And then eventually I had to try because I didn't understand the technology. So I needed to download a wallet. I needed to get my hands on in order to understand, which helped me. And I have invested some very small money just to know how do I take my fiat currency dollars or euros? How do I get them to become currency, cryptocurrency in a wallet, where is that wallet, how can I access to that? So I tried that for fun, with small money I could lose. And I think that's the best way for all of us, give the technology a chance, that's what I always tell. Be open, objective, listen from this end to that end, get the information and then choose for yourself, decide for yourself, do you want to be part of this or don't you? Don't listen anyone in good or bad, just I with the it. feeling. So basically, let me connect this part. So uh, as the technology is developing and eventually banks and everybody is forcing us to do a lot of things online, right? So the great example is what you said, get yourself involved somehow. But I will want to make the parallel for what you said as a so digital and the intellectual property in terms of getting involved mm. yourself. What I mean by intellectual property, you needed to be involved somehow and then like trust this thing to get, you know, better understanding. What does it mean for you as a trust, as a freedom? What did you experience as a, as a holder of the Bitcoin now and, and involve yourself in the blockchain? Well, first of all, you are part of something. So uh, I do believe and I am a big believer of communities. So all of us in the space, which are not that many, it's less than 2% of the whole population of the globe that is involved. We who do it on a daily basis think that everyone is involved. No, they are not. 98% is not there. But it comes down to that you are part of something. Then, of course, I check my, you know, from my whatever application, uh, the prices every morning just to see if it's, you know, green or red sea, you, you see. Makes your mood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's, um, it's a, a way of um, being part of something bigger. And I hope, because I am a granny, actually my granddaughter has her seven-year yeah. birthday today, which oh. is really funny. <laughs> so, uh, thank you. So, um, I just hope that I can, I'm still around when all of this we are talking today is reality, in, is our everyday, the metaverses and cryptocurrency as a currency or money I can use in the downstairs shop and, and, and all of that. So, so it's all there and it's coming. Let's just hope that the guys speed up the tech bar developing and coding so we get there fast enough. <laughs> So generally, like when you're talking about speeding up the, the technology, anyways, the technology is so fast growing. So even our psychological way of thinking, it's not maybe able to grasp it all together. But let's hope that everything comes together, that yes. your granddaughter can be also part of it. But 
I'm super happy that you are also involved in that and spreading this world, the knowledge what you're having from your old wisdom and everything what you passed in your life. So how would you close it like in terms of the advice for the listeners in terms of, or except get a little bit the hands on it, what would be the else, what you say like in terms of whole industry? Well, I think it's, uh, it comes down to this, uh, what I said previously, give technology a chance. What I would really, because this is fun, I, I would want to even use the phrase that, you know, come join us, it's fun here, because we are sort of in a two different um, mindsets of like the traditional financial world and, and us uh, uh, blockchain yeah. and advance, if you wish, yes. But the thing is that, that we need to change things. I do believe that each and every one of us are sharing the opinion of that things need to change. What we have at hand now cannot last and it will not last. So why don't you be part of this, uh, gain knowledge, some understanding, talk to people, the, the communities and the, all these events taking place everywhere in the world go and, and listen to people, talk to people, learn more. And then, like I said, define for yourself what is there for me, what makes sense for me. Not everything makes sense for me either, but many things does. Some of them are really fun to be part of, and some of them are something I'm looking into more seriously, even, even like work-wise. And, and then let's see what we can you know, gain, where can we go because we all want something better in the future. Yes. And we all want our children and grandchildren to have an amazing future. So now we are in the very beginning. We still have time to change and play our role in changing all of this for the better. And that makes me tick. That's yes. what I think is fun. So yeah, join us. I love it. So let me just tell you the last part of the Crypto Granny's background is a lot of about the education. So this is why I put it all this conversation on the note, getting the value to the listeners. Why should they join us? And so your project is the next one for the education. How are you going to do it? And what is your idea of the educating people in the blockchain industry? Yeah, well, I believe that the best thing is that if we can connect as many dots as possible, meaning that the actors in this space, the knowledge uh, is so much and, and everyone has their expertise. Then there are the, all these all conventional institutes, the universities and schools and, and, and other similar, then there is the governmental uh, entities. So connecting all these dots and being able to provide very low level education mm -hmm as well as advanced education, even to work communities. If, if your work uh, place and, and your team members in, at your workplace are curious or interested in this, you should be able to find people who have the know-how, who have the understanding of what kind of training or education you might need. And I, I am aware that there is some academies that are on, on the development. I am uh, hopefully joining one of them uh, as, as a dean or in a similar right. position. And there I will be doing hopefully what I usually do. So collecting uh, people, um, the professionals of their fields and being able to build something from where everyone and anyone can adapt, come and find information, uh, educate themselves, get trained and, and even like double check the information they might have already. So trustworthy people sharing their knowledge and understanding. So that's uh, what I'm hoping to do in the future. And then on top of all of us acting as the granny there, welcoming people, having them around me in the kitchen, the coffee pan there, tea, whatever, and just have people coming and, and talking and sharing this uh, great stuff we Amazing. have. Amazing. Uh, honestly, I wish you all the best for your future and in the education space. Thank you. I believe that there is a lot of space to learn for all of us. And with the, your wisdom, you can bring the great value to the industry. Yes, thank you very much for coming to Cypher Capital uh, headquarters here in Dubai Marina. Thank you. And uh, looking forward to see you more often here and develop the 
collaboration and what we are doing. Oh, I would love that. Thank you so much for the kind invite. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Ciao. You too. Thanks.